many of you are wondering what career day is, it is with adults to come in to explain what their jobs involve, why they enjoy it, and also why we might want to follow this career choice. And by the way, if any of you think I remember career day so well because it was fun, then you are definitely wrong. No, <laughs> I remember career day because it crossed four jobs off my life choices list. I'll start my tale of the day. In the morning, we were introduced to a man called Robert Charlie Harry Steve. He was a bioelectrical engineer who, after five minutes of talking, gave himself the nickname Ingenious, dutifully intelligent and overly tremendous, or idiot for short. <laughs> he started talking with some gobbledygook about formulating biologically structured plans and procedures to integrate the order of operations when building a bicentered, three jointed, rectangular, carbon fibre independent electronic device. This in human language means he was drawing the blueprint for a robot with no arms. <laughs> the next adult, a lawyer, had to leave as the glares and matters of devil resulted in a nervous breakdown and pool of sweat on the floor. <laughs> he didn't even tell us his name. I mean, how rude. He's supposed to be a lawyer. The lawyer was followed by our own teacher, Mr. Brown. He, saw, he, saw, he told us that we should become a teacher, move through the ranks, and finally join our fantastic school. But we all knew it was only saying this because it was predicted that in the next few years our school would run out of teachers. The speech itself was very boring. <coughs> the only good part was when we got our bride, a packet of sweets each, voting for him to be the teacher speaking today. Our fourth arrival was a dentist. This was perhaps the most interesting speech of the day. The main deciding factor for many students was the income, and at £250,000, it looked like we would have a majority of dentists. <coughs> but Dr. Daly's picture soon brought on a river of bile, and every decision was changed. Our final adult was semi-famous actor Francisco Bloomwood. He was soon favoured by all for bringing the students to the front and letting them perform parts of his new movie, The Seven Seas. He did, however, choose five students would stay out for the whole duration of his speech acting, and I was one of them. By the end of the day, I had decided that I was to become an actor and rushed home, bursting to tell my parents. I sprinted through the kitchen door and saw my parents sitting at the dining table when I announced, Mum, Dad, I want to become an actor. There was a short pause, and then my father replied, No, son, it's pronounced doctor. <laughs> <laughs>